I was raised uh, Filipino, uh, so I thought I knew all there was um, in the Filipino culture, uh, as much as you can in America without being taught the language. But I didn't really learn what it was like to be raised Filipino until I met my grandma. Uh, my grandma is an old school Filipino woman. She's 70 plus years old right now. And the first time I met her was in the early 2000s. She flew from the Philippines. Okay. Uh, and then we, we stayed over at my tita's house a lot more uh, when grandma came over when we were younger because grandma could watch us while my parents went to work or whatever. But I learned so, so much about the Filipino culture from, from my grandma. I learned how uh, Filipinos who don't speak very good English, how they pronounce words. And that through my grandma, I was able to uh, distinguish uh, if a person was Filipino or not, and it's a lot with the P, right? P and F. <laughs> I'll tell you a story one time. Uh, very, uh, Grandma was still fresh here, fresh and fresh off the fob, fresh off the boat. Uh, I remember one time I was getting ready to leave for work, and my grandma goes, "You pack your lunch." What? What did what did Grandma just say? What would you say, Grandma? You buck your lunch. I thought she was cursing at me, right? I thought she was saying something, something else. But I said, I said How, "Where did she learn that word? Is that word common in the in the Philippines?" Right? No, she, no, buck, buck. You buck your lunch. <laughs> I love my grandma. I love my grandma. Uh, don't call her Lola. She hates being called Lola. I guess it, being called Lola. To her, makes her feel older than she is. So you call her grandma. It's always been grandma for her growing up as kids. We always referred to her um, as grandma. And I don't know if this is like this with all Filipino older women. But she always made sure that you ate, right? Uh, first thing you work, we wake up in the morning. You hungry? You like eat? What you like eat? What you like? That, they... Uh, I noticed it with other Filipinos too who have a hard time speaking English, but they use like one word sentences and stuff like that. So, what, what, you, you like it? You hungry? You hungry now? So, no, grandma, I'm not hungry. And then she gets, she gets mad, right? She gets upset. Why? You know, like eat? <laughs> oh, oh, but when she does convince you to finally eat, Right, my grandmother. I don't know if you guys, is, your grandmother did this, but she would make my plate for me. Right, and I go, oh, oh, that's nice of her. And then she just piles mountains of rice on your plate. Right, there's, and then she puts the, um, the main, the main, the main dish. Right, and by the time she brings your plate back again, it's just a mountain of food. There's barely of the main dish there. And then, okay, it's like, oh man, I can't eat all this. So I just forced myself to eat the whole plate. And when I was done, she goes, you like, you get, you get more, you eat more. I said, no, grandma, I'm done. You know, like rice? Oh, grandma, I'm done. Why? Always questioning. It's, it's my body, grandma. If I'm full, I'm full. <laughs>